Father, we worship and we bow down before you because you are God. We shout hallelujah because you deserve it. We shall praise the Lord because you deserve it. We lift our hands and we shout your name because you are the only true God deserving of our worship. Father, inhabit our praises today. Inhabit our worship today, God. Because you said, Lord, if we praise you, then you will move. So, God, we want to see you move in our lives. We want to see you move in our homes. We want to see you move, oh God, move mightily. So, God, we got to praise you. Because when the praises go up, God, then the blessings will come down. We want to praise you. Because when we praise you, God, miracles are manifested. We want to praise you. Because when we praise you, oh God, something happens. The atmosphere begins to shift. Oh God, we want to praise you like never before. We want to lift your name higher because you deserve it, oh God. There is no one that deserves the glory but you. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the Lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are Savior. You are Redeemer. You are Creator. You are Restorer. You are a way maker. That's who you are. We lift the praises in this room and we bless your name, God. We bless you, God. We worship you, Father. We magnify your name, God. We reverence and we bow down. We glorify you. We join the angels and we cry holy this morning. We cry holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. The old earth, God, the old earth, the old earth, the old earth is filled with your glory this morning. Lift up your heads, Zoe Gates. And be lifted up the everlasting doors. And the king, oh glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king this morning? Who is the king this morning? Who is Yahweh this morning? He is a mighty warrior. He has never lost a battle. His name is Jehovah Jireh. His name is Jesus. Somebody glorify his name in this room. Somebody glorify his name in this room. Oh, come on. Somebody glorify his name in this room. Somebody glorify his name in this room. Somebody worship the Lord in this room. Father, you deserve our worship this morning. Father, you deserve our praise this morning. We are, my God, we rebuke every shackle that the enemy has placed on our worship. And we release our worship in this atmosphere to do great exploits in this season. We release our worship in this atmosphere. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, somebody bless the name of the Lord this morning. Bless the name of the Lord this morning. I feel worship in this room. I feel the spirit of worship in this room. Somebody glorify him. Oh, come on, somebody glorify him. Somebody glorify him, glorify him. Glorify him, glorify him, glorify him. Because he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised, worthy to be praised, worthy to be praised, worthy to be praised. Lift up your head, Joby Gates. And be lifted up your everlasting doors. And the king of my God, hallelujah, hallelujah. the king of glory shall come in. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Who is this king of glory? He's the Lord strong and mighty. Hallelujah. The one who is mighty in battle. 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 
Lift up your heads, O we gates, and respect the authority of the sovereign God. Oh, come on, somebody bless his name in this room. Hallelujah. I know you got your mask. Come and look at your name as a neighbor. I choose to rejoice. I choose to give thanks. I choose to worship. I choose to lift up my hands. I choose to open up my mouth. I choose to call him good. I choose to call him faithful. I choose to call him blessed. Do I have anybody in this room that can open up your mouth for the next two seconds and begin to call him who he is? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Because he deserves the glory, he deserves the honor. I feel the spirit of worship in this atmosphere. Somebody open up your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Be thou glorified in this room, God. Be thou glorified in this room, God. Be thou glorified in this room, God. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the worship. You deserve all the adoration. You deserve my hallelujah. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Had it not been for you, I would have gone a long time ago. But you are here, God. You are here with me. You have been with me. You have been my present help. My present help. In the time of great tribulation, somebody give God a great praise in this room. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Somebody give God a great praise in this room. Clap your hands and begin to give God the greatest praise that you can ever give him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Woo. Oh, come on, come on. Open up your mouth in this atmosphere and begin to shout the highest praise. Shout the highest praise. Shout the highest praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. Open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. If you know God has been good, open up your mouth and bless him in this atmosphere. Woo! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. If you're watching online, just begin to type hallelujah. It is the highest praise. It is the highest praise. It is the highest praise. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry about? I said, if you know the Lord is keeping you, woo, hey God, why don't you sing it? Glory, hallelujah, praise his name every day just the same come on somebody if you know jehovah is keeping you woo, what you gonna worry worry about if you know the lord is healing you woo, what you gonna worry about i said if you know the lord is healing you why don't you sing and shout Lift your hands and shout glory, hallelujah. Praise his name every day. Just the same. If you know the Lord is healing you, what you gonna worry about? I said, if you know the Lord is keeping you, hey, what you gonna worry about? 
if you know Jehovah is keeping you why don't you sing why don't you sing and shout glory hallelujah praise his name every day every day it's just the same if you know the Lord is keeping you I wish I had somebody in this room that can testify that God has been keeping me I wish I had about two people in this room that can lift their hands and say look here I'm here because God has been keeping me I'm here because God has been keeping me do I have a witness in this room that can declare that Glory, hallelujah, praise his name, every day, just the same, just the same, I said, if you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry, worry about, Oh, if you know the Lord is keeping you, come on, what you gonna worry? Everybody say with me, if you know the Lord is keeping you, what you Glory, glory, hallelujah, praise his name every day is, come on, sing with me, if you know the Lord is keeping you. Oh, if you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry about? Oh, if you know the Lord is keeping you, why don't you sing out shout? Oh, glory, hallelujah, praise His name. Every day it shouts the same. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna I wish I had some testimonies in this place. The Lord is keeping you. Oh, what you gonna worry about? Oh, if you know the Lord is keeping you, why don't you sing and shout? Glory, glory, hallelujah. Praise his name every day. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry about? One more time. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna worry about? Oh, if you know the Lord is keeping you, why don't you sing it? Everybody say glory, hallelujah, praise his name. Come on, if you know the Lord is keeping you, how great is our God, how great is his name. Come on, sing, he's the greatest forever the same he rolled back the wall he said I need you put your trust everybody say how great how great is our how great is his name he's the greatest one forever the same he rolled back the wall He said, I need you, put your trust. How great is our God, how great is his, great is his name. He's the greatest one, forever the same. He rolled back, rolled back, rolled back, the my God, from the mighty. Said, I need you, yeah. Put your trust in me. If you know the Lord is keeping you, church, what you gonna worry? My, 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 say, if you know the Lord is keeping you, oh, why don't you sing it? Everybody say, glory, hallelujah, praise his name, every day. If you know the Lord is keeping you, what you gonna How great, how great is our God, great is his name. He's the greatest one, forever the same, 
He rolled back the water. Said, I need you. Just put your trust in me. Everybody worship this morning. How great is our God? Great is his name. Forever the same. He rolled back the water. I sing praises unto God, sing praise. My sing praises unto God. Everybody, hallelujah. So sing praises unto God. What do you do? Say sing praises unto God. Everybody, hallelujah. Let's go. Oh. For God is our king. Come on. Over all the earth. Oh, sing praises unto him with understanding. So clap your hands and shout all the for he is to be praised. Sing praises unto God. Everybody sing praises. Hey, hallelujah. Sing praises unto God. Everybody sing praises. Say with me, hallelujah. Oh God, our God is our King over all the earth. Oh, so clap your hands, oh, all the for he is to be praised. Somebody, he is Lord. Even death, even in the grave, he is Lord. Oh, wonderful! Hey, wonderful! Jesus is to my mind. He's a counselor. Mighty God is. Saving me, keeping me from all that I say. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise. One more time, say, Wonderful, wonderful. Jesus says to me, Alpha, Prince of Peace, mighty God is me. Oh, my, my saving, woo. Wonderful, come on, say, wonder, wonderful. Yeah, my Jesus says you, my God's a counselor. Don't you see that I'm moving up the kingdom? My, my, my. Up the king's eye. Church, I'm trusting in amazing grace. Yes, I'm trusting in amazing grace. I see Satan is on my track. But church, I said, I never, never, never turn. Don't you see that I'm moving up the king's highway? Moving up the king's eye. And yes, I'm trusting in amazing grace. I see Satan on my track, but church, I said, never, 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 never move it. Oh, come on, church. Don't you see that I'm moving, 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 I'm moving up the king. Hey, 
Yes, church, I'm trusting in the man. I never, 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 never oh, oh, oh. My grandmother used to say this Oh, go before us, oh Lord, go before us And do thy work thyself Go before us, oh Lord, go before us And do thy work thyself Roll, John, and roll Roll, John You're too young Roll, John Everybody say, go before us, O oh Lord, go before my my and do thy work thyself. Go before, come on, tell God. Do, oh, say, roll, John, my, 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 say, roll, John, and roll, roll, John, and and do thy work. One more time, say, go before us, O Lord, my God, Lord, and do thy work thyself. Go before us, O Lord, do thy work thyself. Oh, roll, 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 Jordan, roll, Jordan, roll, Jordan, roll, and do thy work. One more time, tell God to go before us, go before us. Tell God, go before us, God. Go before me, God. Go before me, Holy Ghost. Go before me, God. Go before me, Jesus. Go before me, Lord. Go before me, God. If you go, then I'll go. Where you step out, stop. Somebody tell God, go before me, God. Go before me, Lord. Go before us. And do thy work thyself. Move me out of the way, God. Go before me. Go before me, God. Do thy work thyself. Roll, Jesus, roll. Oh, my God. Roll, Jesus, roll. Roll, Jesus, roll. And do your work yourself. I said, go before me, Lord. Go before me, Jesus. And do thy work yourself. Woo! Go before me, God. Go before me, God. Do thy work yourself. Roll, Jesus, roll. Move, Jesus, move. Roll, Sean, and roll. And do your work. Your when Israel out, a bondage came. A sea before them rose. Woo. What is your mountain? What is your mountain? What is your. The Lord reached out. His mighty hand and he rolled the sea away. Go before me, God. Go before me, Jesus. And do thy work thyself. Go before us, Lord. Go before us, Lord. And do the work yourself. Roll, join, and roll. Roll, join, and roll. Roll, join, and roll. Jesus, do your work. 
you shall. Go before me, God. Go before us, Lord. Go before us, God. Do your work yourself. Do your work yourself. I've always sang the song. Sometimes you get so used to the lyrics, you don't spend time to listen to what the song is saying. When Israel left, bondage came. A sea before them rose, but the Lord reached down. The Lord reached down. The Lord reached down as a mighty hand. Hey. And then he rolled. <laughs> I said he rolled. Ah. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know what you're facing. But the one who rolls is here where he's in this room. I said he rolls, hey, 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 the sea away. Then forward still, tis Jehovah's will. Though the billows dash and spread with the conquering trade we must push ahead because Jesus rolled the sea roll it away lift up your hands in this room lift up your hands in this room lift up your hands in this room open up your mouth and roll it Jesus Everything that the enemy has planted in my way, every obstacle of the enemy, we commanded this day to be rolled. Somebody say, roll God, roll it, roll it. Every spirit of adversity, every spirit of infirmity, every lack, every, every oh my God, somebody say, roll it, God, roll it away. Woo! Ma, 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 ma. Oh, yeah, do it, Jesus, do it, Lord, do it, Jesus, do it, Lord, do it, Jesus, do it, Lord, roll the sea away, God, roll it away, do it for my sister in this room, God, 
doing for my brother in this room God just begin to roll that she away I don't know what you've been praying about brother Chris I don't know what you've been casting for sister Simpson but the spirit says the one who rolls is in this room the one who rolls a she away is in this room somebody on For the man of God comes. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying Lazarus was dead. And they wrapped him up in grave clothes. And put him in a tomb. And they called for Jesus, but Jesus took his own sweet time. But when Jesus shows up, she said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And she said, but I know that even if you speak now, something can happen. I don't know who I'm talking to, but the resurrection and the life is in this room today. Jesus has shown me. Show me where that mountain is. Show me where that tomb is. Show me where that Goliath is. Show me where there's buried you. Show me, show me, show me. Show me, show me, show me. And when they brought Jesus in front of that tent, Jesus said, roll it. Roll it. Roll the stone away. Roll that obstacle away. Roll that mountain away. And it didn't stop there. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus heard the voice of his creator and stood up in his grave close. But I hear the spirit of the Lord saying like he said there, Loose him. Loose him. Loose him. Let him go. I don't care if you've been in your... Break it, break it, break it. Break it, break it, break it. Sister Michelle. When Lazarus came to be, when, when Lazarus heard the voice of the Creator, the first thing Sister Anne-Marie did is jumped up. In his grave, I hear you, Holy Ghost, in his grave clothes. And he was anticipating what should come next. I don't know where you are. I don't know if you're still in your grave clothes. But we've got, I hear the voice of God in this house that today. And I hear the voice of God saying, get up. Get up. Don't wait, don't wait. Get up. And begin to jump begin to position yourself because I'm about to tell some things to lose you I'm about to tell some things to let you go I'm about to tell some things let God said lose him lose him let him go lose him hey 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 lose him let him go I dare you to look at your neighbor and begin to prophesy in this room. Look at your neighbor. I don't know what you're going through. My brother Adrian, I don't know what you're going through, Sister Cheryl. But the Spirit of the Lord said, loose. Loose, 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 loose. I said, lose him. I said, lose him. And I hear God saying, some of us are loose and don't even know it. We've been so used to being tied up that we don't even know that we are free. But the God of that service, the Bible says, who the Son sets free. It's free indeed. Do I have about five people in this room that you are free, that you can just open up your mouth? If you're watching online, just open up your mouth and let the devil know that you're me down for a very long time. 
I wanted to go, but you wouldn't let me go. Now I'm free. You want to run after me, but Satan, you can't catch. Somebody shout freedom. Let's all stand in this room as you welcome the man of God. Let's all stand as we welcome the man of God. I hear God clearly. Lose him. Let him go. Lose him. Let him go. Lose him. Let him go. Tell Pharaoh, hey! Tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Tell Babylon, let my people go. Lose him. Let him go. I hear God in this room. I hear Jesus in this room. The liberator is in this room. The one who breaks the chain is in this room. Lose him. is saying release is in order release is in order release is on the menu today release is in order there's an order that has been sent forth an order that has been released in the elements release in the firmament release in the airs of principality and powers release in the ears of the wicked release so oh, in the kingdom of darkness there is there is a decree that has been I release in the elements that release is in order whatever 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 it is oh that has been assigned to hold on to you to hold on to inheritance to hold on to your promises to hold on to your blessing I hear the Holy Ghost said wrap up Ah, that somebody, somebody uh, just shout to release, release. It's an order. It's an order of command. It's an order of command. And every demons and devils uh, and principalities and powers uh, and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness uh, in high places will have to back up and back up and let go uh, and release and release and release your family uh, and release your marital glory and release your inheritance and we know that somebody will get a hold of it today and run with it and run into it oh for the holy holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost hey the holy ghost and ring a release glory hallelujah if you have a hallelujah, this is the time to give it. If you have a praise, this is the time to give it. If you're gonna shout, this is the time to give it. Oh, glory to God. Hey, if you have some worship, and it's the time to give it. Our release is in order. Yeah. Yeah. To God be the glory, the great things he has done, who gave us his only begotten son. And so today we would give him the glory again and again and again, again and again for all glory. For all glory belongeth unto him, all honor, all praises belongeth unto him. Oh, long time ago somebody said there must be a God somewhere. Ah, but today we can say there is a God right here. There is a God right here. He's in our midst. He's working. He's manifesting. We are seeing his glory. We are seeing his power of our heavenly kingdom and heavenly glory. And heavenly God has come down to earth abiding and tabernacling and working with us. 
angels. Oh, that somebody would worship him. The psalmist, the psalmist in the 48th psalm said, God is in the midst of her. God is in the midst of her. God will help her and that right early. The heathen rage, the kingdoms were moving, he uttered his voice. The earth melted, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Hey, somebody, he's with us, he's with us. He's with us, he's with us. Go ahead and release him. Go ahead and release your praise unto him. Release your worship unto him. Release your hallelujah unto him. Release your thanksgiving unto him. Our God is in the midst. Crippling. God is in the midst. Crippling and confounding, defeating and destroying, blooding. Oh, and defeating the works of evil and the works of darkness and the gates of hell. Every altar, every altar, every altar that has been erected and set up to work against our altar. We release our God, we release our God, we release our God now and upon every altar, every evil altar, every principal of the Ramanda, Ekata, every principalities and powers altar. We release wildfire upon, we release wildfire wherever the altar is hidden, wherever the altar is buried, wherever the altar is locked up. We release wildfire after burning and burn up and consume and confound and defeat and destroy every altar to. Blood, sword, and fire. Rababa. Upon every evil altar, upon every evil altar, upon every evil altar, messing, 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 messing with us, messing with us. We release the fire of God. An order, an order of command, an order of command, an order of command. Release is in order. Release is in order. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Rabande Kata. Holy Ghost and Fire. Oh, that somebody has shout. Hallelujah. Somebody has shout. Hallelujah. Hey, that somebody has shout. Glory. Oh, that somebody has shout and pull down some strongholds and blood up some assignments and confirm some kings and some captains and some rulers and some leaders and some giants. Oh, that somebody would shout. Oh, that somebody would release the power that is in your belly. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Am I hallelujah? My hallelujah belongs to him. I said my hallelujah belongs to him. And I'm giving him all my hallelujah, all my praises, all my glory, all my thanksgiving. Because today, today, today I can say he brought me over, he brought me over, he brought me over. He brought me over, he brought me over. A whole lot of stuff he brought me over. He brought me through a whole lot of assignments. But he brought me over a whole lot of principles. Principalities, a whole lot of army, a whole lot of force, but he brought me over. Is there anybody with a praise today? Is there anybody with a shout who can say yes, yes, yes? Yes, it didn't look like, it didn't look like, it didn't look like, it didn't feel like. Uh, somebody said it wouldn't happen, uh, but some way, somehow, uh, he found a way. 
he found a way to his son and he brought me over he brought me over he brought me over with a praise he brought me over with a song he brought me over with a shout he brought me over with a testimony he brought me over with a hallelujah he brought me over with my head lifted up above my enemies around about he brought me over into great inheritance into great blessings he brought me over and he brought me out Yeah! Yeah! Glory! Glory! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord! Hallelujah! Glory, 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 glory! It wasn't the day that I worship and that brought me over. Uh, because some folks, uh, some folks just attach their victory to the day. Uh, but I said it wasn't the day that I worship on uh, that brought me over. Uh, it wasn't that day. Uh, I did not get over because I worship on Sunday. Uh, or I did not get over because I worship on Saturday. Uh, or I worship on Friday. Uh, but I got over because he favored me. I got over because he loved me. I got over because he called me. I got over because he graced me with his grace. I got over because he prepared a place. I said it wasn't a day but it was the place. It wasn't a day but it's the place. The place called Mount Calvary. It's not the day. It's the place. Oh glory to God that somebody had come to terms and understand that it's not the day. It's not not that day and somebody's giving credit to the day and somebody's saying it's because of the day but it's not that day but it is the place the place the place it is the place called Mount Calvary it is the place that makes the difference it is not the day that saves us but it's the place, it's the place, it's the place. Don't confuse it. It's not the day, it's the place. We worship on Sundays and the reason why we worship on Sundays is because the Bible said every time we come together to worship on Sundays, we are reminded of the resurrection. Did you know that's why we worship on Sunday? Because it serves as a reminder. Every time we come together on Sunday, it reminds us of the resurrection. It reminds us of the cross. It reminds us of the finished work. It reminds us of early in the morning when it was still dark. You don't understand you don't know why we worship on Sunday so when somebody asks you why we worship on Sunday tell them it's a reminder it's a reminder of the devil's defeat every time we come together on Sunday we remember that the devil is defeated and remember that Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords we remember that we are liberated out of the kingdom of darkness and we have been transferred and transform into the kingdom of God it's a reminder that we have resurrection power are living in us it's a reminder that the law no longer reign over us but the grace of God uh -huh. our focus is not on the day our focus is on the place. For I already sank, he said, there's life for a look. At the crucified one, there's life this moment for you. Only, 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 only. <laughs> only a look. <laughs> only a look. <laughs> only a look on Jesus. <laughs> only a look on Calvary. <laughs> only a look on the man. <laughs> oh, the man who can. <laughs> only a look on the I am that I am. <laughs> oh, and all our sins are washed away burdens lifted yokes broken our strongholds pulled down soul liberated mindset only a look hey for this life for a look mm. 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 
Glory. 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 Ha. A look of connection. Ha. A look of connection. A look, only a look, and we are connected to the heavens. Just give him another praise. Give him another praise and another shout. We give God thanks. We give God thanks for this great day, this great day, this great day that he has made and that he has given unto us. We worship, honor, and exalt him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right here, the Holy Ghost said in St. John chapter 4, Jesus told the woman uh, 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 that the time cometh, the time cometh, and now is. The time cometh, and now is. When it's a, it, it will neither be this mountain or that mountain. Oh, glory to God. The time cometh when it will no longer be about the mountain. It will no longer be about the day. It will no longer be about the name of the religion. But the time cometh. Well, no, it's about the spirit. It's about the spirit. Tell somebody. It's about the spirit. Tell somebody get a hold of the spirit. Uh, tell somebody get connected to the spirit. Uh, Jesus said to her, now the time cometh and now is. Uh, when it's about the spirit, it's about the spirit. Uh, and it's about the truth. Uh, uh, the time cometh that they that worship uh, must worship him uh, in spirit and in truth. It's no longer uh, about the mountain, but it's about the spirit. God, I have the spirit, I have the spirit, I have the spirit, I have the spirit, and because I have the spirit, I'm a true worshiper, I'm a true worshiper, I'm connected to worship, oh glory to God, I'm swallowed by worship. I remember when my late wife passed. My children and I, we were swallowed by grief, who we were swallowed by pain, who we were swallowed by sorrow, I was sorrow, who we was swallowed up under some dark clouds. But thanks be to God today, I'm swallowed in worship, I'm swallowed in praises, I'm swallowed. God has lifted the cloud, God has driven away the gloom, and today I'm swallowed up in a hallelujah, I'm swallowed up in a praise. I'm swallowed up in a shout. I'm swallowed up in victory. Oh, can I ask a question today? What is it? What is it? What is it that I've swallowed you? What is it that I've swallowed you? What are you swallowed in today? Are you swallowed in a praise? Are you swallowed by a song? Are you swallowed by a shout? Are you swallowed by a hallelujah? Are you swallowed by a lively hope? Oh, glory to God. Are you swallowed in the the word of God in the spirit of God. What is it that I've swallowed you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whatever it is that I've swallowed you, that is not of God. <laughs> An order of command. An order of command has been released for your release, for your release, for your release. An order of command has been released for your release out of whatever it is that I've swallowed you. The Spirit of the Lord has decree and declare that you must be released, you must be released, you must be released out of it and released from it. Ah, glory, glory, we were not here last week, we were not here last week, so today we got a double praise, a double shout, we have a double shout, a double praise, a double ha, everything we got to double up, ha. and everything today we got to double up, ha. it's double tithes, it's double offering, everything ha. is doubled up today, ha. Ah, it's double praise, it's double worship, ha. because we were not here to give it last week, ha. Ah, so we bring last week on and today on together, ha. and we give it, 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 ha. I said we give it all, we give it all, we give it all, ha. Ah, I want to pray. I want to preach. I want to get in the word. But I hear the word. I hear the word. The Bible, the Bible said the woman with her two might. With her two might. I said throwing double. She's throwing 
double. She has two might and she's throwing double. If you're anybody with a double today, is anybody with a double? Ah, oh, she did not show in single, but she threw it in double. Oh, the Bible says she had two, and she threw it all. She threw it all. She threw it all. She threw it all. You know that somebody today who's throwing everything, throwing everything, throwing everything. Ah, oh, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Let go of it. Let go of it. Let go of it. Ah, oh, throw it in. Throw it in. Throw it in. Ah, oh, throw it in. I hear the spirit said, Ah, oh, throw it in. The Bible says they throw it all in. She threw it in double. And Jesus remarked about it and gave her a double blessing that recorded her story in the Bible because she threw it in double. Uh, God is looking uh, for double today. Double, 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 double. Uh, tell somebody double up, double up. Uh, double up. Glory to God. Uh, our God has a double miracle. Uh, and God has a double breakthrough. Uh, and God has some double deliverances uh, that he wants to release unto his people. Uh, but God said, I cannot release your double uh, until you throw in double. Uh, in Songs of Solomon chapter 4, uh, the Bible said it sheep went down. Oh, they went down to the washing. The sheep went down to the washing. When they went down to the washing, the Bible said they all came back double, 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 double. They all came back bearing twins. They all came back pregnant with twins. They all came back carrying twins. And I hear the Holy Ghost say, those who are washed, and those who are cleansed, and those who are sanctified, and those who are purified, and those who throw in all will receive double 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 I hear the Holy Ghost say double 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 I double for your trouble I double for your trouble I double for your affliction I double for your persecution I double for your sorrow I double for your grief I double for your pain I double for your suffering I double for your sacrifice I hear the Holy Ghost said, I hear the Holy Ghost said, Make room, make room, make room. Make room for double, 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 double. Make room for double. We want to thank God for Minister Odin and Shabbat 21, which was held on last week's Saturday. It rained, but we had a great time. It rained, but folks turned out in great numbers. And we give God thanks. It rained, but it was a blessing. And we give God thanks for the man of God, his family, amen, and the ministry. I remember, I remember, I remember uh, some Sundays ago, I preached in this house. And I prophesied in his life. And I told him that the Lord said not to settle for one. You remember that. You remember that. The Lord said not to settle, not to settle, not to settle, not to settle for one. Her wife showed up and Shabbat pregnant. Uh, pregnant like never before. Our God said don't settle for one. Go for more. And more, 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 more. Uh, more is on the way. And I hear the Holy Ghost said to somebody, don't settle, don't settle. Uh, go for more for there's more to be had. There's more to be received. You don't have to settle where you are. Uh, get up and go for more. Get up, get up, get up. And and reach out for more, get up and press for more by the word of God is prophetic and as much as the prophetic word was released that he should not settle for one our God has more than one miracle you know sometimes we get so excited 
Brother Adrian, about the one miracle that we even forget about the rest. We just cancel the rest of miracles and we just stay at the one miracle because we, we were not expecting it and we got so excited about the one miracle and God still have a whole lot more miracle that he wants to release unto us but we become tied to the one miracle. But I hear the Holy Ghost said today, I hear the Holy Ghost said today, expand your faith, expand your trust, expand your confidence, expand your belief, expand your walk, expand your worship, expand your prayer. Our God said, I have yet many more miracles that I want to release unto you, but you got to expand to release to receive it today. You got to expand. We want to thank those who have joined us on social media, and we want to welcome. Each and every one, we certainly welcome each and every one in the house of the Lord today. Giving God thanks for your presence being here. <laughs> Amen. Your presence here has contributed to the presence of the Lord here. <laughs> Amen. Your presence here has contributed to the worship that we are giving unto our God. So we want you to know that we are thankful. We are grateful. You have passed many other buildings that worship has been held in to be in this one today. So we greatly appreciate you coming. God bless you. And God will release upon you today for your coming for your coming. Uh, Genesis chapter 22. We are still in the month of August. It's the last Sunday in the month and we are still in the prophetic move. The prophetic move. The prophetic move. Glory to God. Uh, Genesis chapter 32 and the 24th verse and following. Uh, glory, glory, glory. And Jacob was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not, I will not, I will not. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, oh, glory to God. And he said, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince thou hast power with God and with man, and hath and hath and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, wherefore is that thou doest ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Penuel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And as he passed over Penuel, the sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not the, the, the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh, and the sinew shrank. The word, the word, the word of the Lord, they are blessed and they are yea and amen. Now today I want to preach, I want to preach for a few more minutes and a thought or a topic. And the thought or the topic is the move, the move, the move that move God. The move that move God. Oh, glory to God. We are talking about the prophetic, the prophetic the prophetic move and today we are talking about the move if we are ready to make the move if there's anybody in this house today when we look in the Bible we have seen many great men and we have seen many great women who made the move that moved God oh glory to God and here we see a great story in the Bible a man by the name of Isaac and a woman by the name of Rebecca. Ah. 
Isaac was the promised son of Abraham, Father Abraham. I met, I met Rebecca when he went to water the camels. I met her and water her camels. I fell in love with her. I got married to her. She got pregnant. She conceived. And when she got pregnant, Brother Chris, she got pregnant with double, 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 double. She got pregnant with double. Uh, she, uh, she was carrying two sons in her womb. Uh, and the Bible, the Bible said uh, that war break out in her womb. Uh, all the two sons in her womb uh, started to wrestle and started to fight uh, with each other in her womb. Uh, for Esau, uh, Esau, I uh, took the first position uh, and Jacob said no you will not get it uh, I want the first position uh, so war break out in her womb a uh, fight break out in her womb uh, and Esau want to come out uh, but Jacob is holding on to the heels of Esau uh, and a wrestling developed and a wrestling pursue uh, in the womb but some way somehow uh, uh, Esau wrestled uh, his way out first. Uh, Esau came out first. Uh, and Esau became the firstborn uh, of Isaac and Rebekah. Uh, then came uh, Jacob uh, following Esau. Uh, I want somebody to know and understand the moral of the story. Uh, and the prophetic uh, and the prophecy of the story uh, that Esau represented the flesh. Uh, Esau represent the flesh uh, uh, Jacob represent the spirit uh, uh, the flesh must be first uh, the flesh must be first uh, uh, the first man Adam was of the flesh uh, uh, the first man Adam was of the flesh uh, uh, so the flesh ought to be first uh, so Esau got to come out first uh, but glory to God uh, oh hallelujah uh, there's a second man there's a second man uh, there's a second man coming with a second bird. I said there's a second man coming with a second bird. And the second man name was Jacob. Jacob, Jacob. The second man name was Jacob. Oh glory to God out of the second man. That come nations and tribes and kingdoms. Oh that somebody will get a hold of the revelation and understand that the second man, that the second man is greater than the first man. That the second man reign and rule over the first man. That the second man supersede. Oh, the first man. The first man is of the flesh and is earthly. The first man is of the flesh and is Adamic. But the second man is of the spirit and is heavenly. And he is from above. Oh, glory to God. So the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. The Bible said Jacob took a likeness to the spirit. Because he's the second man. He took a likeness to heavenly things because he's the second man. He took a likeness to God because he's the second man. Oh, glory to God. And the Bible, the Bible, the Bible said Jacob and his brother. Jacob and his brother separated. Jacob and his brother departed. Went went one way and went went the other way. And Jacob went. Uh, to his uncle Laban uh, glory to God uh, and he stayed with his uncle Laban uh, for 20 years uh, and the Bible, the Bible, the Bible tells us uh, how he served 7 years uh, uh, for Rachel uh, but ended up with Leah, uh, served 7 years for Rachel uh, but ended up with Leah uh, oh glory to God uh, but God has a plan for Leah uh, I said God has a plan for Leah, uh, uh, Leah would have born Jacob's six sons. Oh, glory to God. And Jacob would have served another seven years of Rachel. And he finally got the love. Oh, the love of his life. Ah, the day came 
after 20 years that he decided that he's going to leave his uncle Laban the Bible said by then the Lord has blessed him with great riches with great inheritance he has a whole lot of animals he had two wives he had his servants oh glory to God he left his uncle Laban's house and his way back to meet his brother the Bible said great fear I came upon Joseph a great fear I covered Jacob is there anybody in this house today that the storms of the flesh and the storms of the world and the threatening temptation and the rising billows of the confusion of the flesh has threatened your future has threatened your worship has threatened your praise are you feeling threatened by the giants and the lions are you feeling threatened by what you have to face tomorrow are you feeling threatened because of what you have heard yes the bible said that jacob was feeling threatened and greatly afraid because of what was ahead and what he has to face oh glory to god he left uh, with his two wives oh one of his wife and the love of his life was pregnant at the time at the time oh, when they left uh, she gave birth to another son because she already had she already had one son and she gave birth to another son it so happened that she died in child's birth she died in child's birth why because she stole she stole her father God she stole her father God she she went away with her father God as she joined herself to idol worship and God cursed her and she died at child's birth I stop by to say to somebody today whatever 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 you do get rid of your father God let go your father God release your father God ah, for your father God is idol and idolatry let it go let it go let it go for your father God God is the flesh. Your father God is the world. Oh, your father God represents sin and evil and must be let go and must be left behind. But she held on to it and she took it with her and it cost her her life. So because Jacob was fearful, greatly afraid because he had to meet his brother Esau. Do you know why? Because Jacob uh, tricked Esau and took the birthright and took the birthright and took the birthright away from him. Away from him. Can I preach to somebody today? Can I preach to somebody? The greatest trick, the greatest trick that was ever pulled upon the devil. The greatest trick that was ever pulled upon principalities and powers. The greatest trick that was ever pulled upon rulers of darkness was pulled upon the cross. I said it was pulled upon the cross. It was pulled upon the cross of Calvary. A trick greater than the trick that Jacob pulled upon Esau. The greatest trick the greatest trick was pulled upon the cross of Calvary because when they lift him high and stretch him wide and drove the nails and pierce his side they thought they got the victory a big celebration was going on in hell I said there was a big a big celebration because his body was laying in the tomb they rolled a stone and sealed it and set a watch and a big celebration was going on down in hell oh glory to God but the second man I said the second man the second Adam the son of the living God the I am that I am the bright and morning star the sweet rose of Sharon and the lilies in 
the valley. While they were celebrating his death. While they were rejoicing over his death. While they were celebrating the end of his kingdom. And the end of his mission. Our brother Quincy Wilde. The celebration was on. Oh glory to God. Little did they know. Little did they know. That it was only a separation. From the earthly. Into the heavenly. When they separated him from his body. It was only a separation. From the earthly. Into the heavenly. From the natural. Into the supernatural. Ah, from the presence. Into the omni. The omni. The omni. The omni. The omni. Oh glory to God. Oh that somebody will shout the omni. It was only a separation. From the presence. Into the omnipresence. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible said while his body was in the grave. While he was separated from the grave. He went down into the antediluvian world. He went down into a place called prison. He went down in the spirit world. He went down in the supernatural world. Oh glory to God. He kicked the doors open. He kicked the doors open. He kicked the bars open. He broke in. A great light sprung. A great light shine. Down into the Antalabosha. Rabande Kalyanda. Into the Antiluvian world. The devils were backing up and backing off and turning over and rolling over and screaming out and crying out because they recognized him. They saw him and they knew him. They knew that he was the one that was crucified. They knew that he is the son of God. They knew that he wasn't dead. They knew that he's alive. And that he's alive forevermore. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible. The Bible said he he conducted a revival down in there. He preached unto the spirits in prison. Oh, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. So those who accepted him, he led them out. Oh, did not the Bible say he led, he led, he led captivity captives and gave gifts unto men. And I read his sank and received the vision and the revelation. When he penned the words of the song, he lead at me. Oh, blessed thought, oh, words with heavenly comforts of God. By water still, our troubled sea, still tease God's hand. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, still, still God's hand that lead at me. Hey, glory God. He lead at me. He lead at me. Oh, glory to God. Oh, he led captivity captive. He gave gifts unto man. He opened the book. He loosed the seal. And he led you and I out and gave us the victory. There is a thing. There's a thing that is called evil intelligence. It was said that when Bin Laden was assassinated in Pakistan that the, the Americans, the technology that they use to, 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 to assassinate him, that they were able, they were able, even though Pakistan had their own technology, even though uh, they have their own intelligence, it is called intelligence, even though they have their own intelligence, but Sister Jean America was able to supersede their intelligence, to override their intelligence, to get beyond their intelligence, to get into their secret place, to target and to find where he was, went in there, took him out and got out without 
any casualty to any of the American soldiers. Why am I saying that? I am saying this. Uh, that the, 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 the intelligence, the intelligence of the I am that I am, the intelligence of the sovereign and the holy God is greater than the intelligence of America or the intelligence of the Russians or the intelligence of the Koreans or the intelligence oh, of the Chinese. Uh, whatever intelligence may be on earth, the intelligence of God is greater than any evil, any evil, any evil intelligence. There's a thing that is called Elabo Shaba, Rabakata. There's a thing that is called evil intelligence. It was evil intelligence that Lucifer and the serpent uses for mess up Adam and Eve. But thanks be to God that one whose intelligence is greater. The apostle Peter said, in first Peter chapter 1 the foreknowledge the foreknowledge is of God the foreknowledge of the salvation the foreknowledge of the plan the foreknowledge of the anointing the foreknowledge of the spirit and of the word is of God but there's no intelligence like the intelligence of our God for Lucifer uh, thought he had intelligence uh, when he led him on the mountain uh, to be tempted uh, when he threw the word at him uh, Lucifer thought uh, he had intelligence uh, but the intelligence of Jesus uh, I said the intelligence of Jesus uh, way outlasted uh, the intelligence of Lucifer uh, oh that somebody would go ahead uh, and worship God uh, for the intelligence of the spirit uh, the intelligence of the spirit the intelligence of the spirit. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the intelligence of the spirit. Yeah! All through this time, with the plotting of the crucifixion, all through this time, with their demise and their assignments, all through this time, when they were scheming and working and plotting, it is called evil intelligence at work. Evil intelligence at work. And I stand in this pulpit, and I stand in the anointing, and I stand in the power of the Holy Ghost. And I stand in the power of the resurrection. And I stand and represent the I am that I am. I stand and represent the Son of God. And I prophesy and I decree and declare in this house, over God's people, in social media and radio land, that every evil intelligence, every evil intelligence, are plotting and working against your family are uh, plotting your demise are uh, plotting uh, against you uh, to take you out uh, to confuse you uh, and to lead you away uh, by the anointing and by the blood uh, of Jesus and by the fire uh, I release uh, I release the heavenly intelligence uh, I release the heavenly intelligence uh, against intelligence of evil uh, I prophesy uh, into a move I preach into a move I worship into a move that move God a move that move God into action a move in this house a move of praise a move of shout a move of hallelujah a move of faith that move God into action that move God to deliver that move God to heal, I more God to revive, rub and restore. Oh, we pray our way into a move. Oh, that move, God. Oh, by the Bible, the Bible, the power, feel the Holy Ghost up in this place. By the Bible, the Bible. We are talking about the prophetic move. The Bible said Peter was kept in prison, according to Acts chapter 
12. I prophesy over your life. I prophesy in your life. Everything that is keeping you in prison. Everything that is keeping you in bondage. Everything that is keeping you in poverty. In struggles and hardship. The Bible, the Bible said Peter was kept in prison. But the church, but the church. Oh, that's somebody who say about the church. Oh, that's somebody who say about the Pentecostal church. The church with the resurrection power. The church with the Holy Ghost power. The church whose captain is Jesus. The church whose builder and maker is God. The church who is the head over all principalities and powers. But the church has sprung into action, prayed into a move that moved God. So many, so many believers sat down in their seat waiting on God, waiting on God to move, not saying anything, not doing anything, but waiting on God to move. Can I say to the church, can I say to somebody, that was the church that got James beheaded. The church that sat down, waiting for God to do something, Sister Carol. The church that was in silence, waiting for God to intervene and to deliver James out of the hand of Herod. That was the silent church that caused James to be beheaded. And so many believers are sitting down, not saying anything, not doing anything. Waiting on God to move. Are testifying that they are waiting on God to make a move in their lives. Oh, but I stop by. I say to somebody today, you got to make the first move. You got to make the first move. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. You got to make. You got to make. You got to initiate. You got to initiate. You got to initiate the first move. I hear the Holy Ghost said, the woman with the issue of blood, initiate the move. She initiate the move. A blind Bartholomew, initiate the move. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible. So the man in Acts chapter 10, by the name of Cornelius, he initiate the move. The Bible said he prayed. He prayed until his prayer he gave he gave he prayed and he gave oh tell somebody he prayed and he gave he initiated the move he prayed and he gave he did not sit back and sit down and wait on God he prayed and he gave he prayed God into a move he prayed God into action the Bible said he prayed until God came down from heaven. He prayed until he moved the hand of God. He prayed until he opened the mouth of God. He prayed until God sent a word. He prayed until deliverance came. He prayed until breakthrough came. He, when he was not praying, our sister Alyssa, he was giving. He was giving, he was giving. But the Bible said his prayer and his arms came up before God as a memorial. God is looking, God is looking for some memorial move, some memorial prayer, some memorial shout, some memorial fasting, some memorial faith. God is looking. Have some memorial people that will move him out of the heavens and move him down to earth and move him into situations by and through the anointing. (laughs) 
And I tell you, I tell you there are many places I would like to take you with me. Uh, Jesus took Peter, James, and John. But I'm not able to take you because you are believers who do not believe. You are believers who do not believe. And I hear the Lord say the promise is unto believers. But God said the promise. Hey, yeah, Jeremiah 29 11. Let me preach a little bit more. Jeremiah 29 11 said, I know the plans I have for you. I know the promise that I made for you. I know the promise that I put in place for you. I know the promise that I've laid up for you. But I'm not able to release you the promise. I'm not able to release you the promise because you are stuck at what if. You are stuck at what if. I'm preaching to a church of what if people. I am preaching to a church who is stuck at what if because every time God appear and every time God come to you and God and God open doors and God said you can get loan. You can get loan to buy property. You can get loan to invest. You can get forbearance on your house. Oh, but because we stop at what if. What if say don't put yourself in any debt. What if say don't take any risk. What if say don't take any chance. What if say stay single. Because what if you get married. You got married before. And you got some bad experience. You got married before and it never worked. What if you get married again and it didn't work so you are stuck at what if but I hear the Holy Ghost I hear the Holy Ghost said wake up get up shake yourself dust yourself you might have invested before and lost a whole lot of money and you are stuck at what if because of your loss your loss has crippled you. Your loss has crippled you into your past. Your loss has crippled your future. Ah, but I hear the Holy Ghost said, wake up. Dust yourself off. Move past what if. Stop saying what if. And start saying nevertheless. Nevertheless. Can God get a nevertheless out of his people? Can God get a nevertheless the less out of his people. What if Christians, what if believers, what if people, every time pass a calendar, every time an opportunity come to them, they face the opportunity with what if. What if I lose my money? What if I lose my job and my house foreclosed? So what? Is it the end of your life? So what? So what if I try and fail? So what? At least I tried. And I'm going to try again. Too long have I preached to one talent people. God said he's sick and tired of one talent people when he had many other talent. But one talent people said I'm not taking any risk. I'm not taking any chance. I've seen too many people try and fail. I'm putting it down right. I'm leaving it right where it is. I'm not taking in First lady, do you know why? Even though I preach so hard and I preach so long, you know why so many folks that I preach to is still at the same spot and still in the same situation? It is because I don't have any wounds. I don't got any wounds at my side for them to put their hands in. I 
I don't have any prints in the uh, any nail prints in my hands uh, for them to look at. Uh, I don't have any nail prints in my feet for them to look at. Uh, so because I don't have any wounds uh, for them to put their hands uh, and any prints for them to look at. Uh, uh, they are stuck uh, in the air. Uh, they are stuck uh, in the air. What if? Uh, uh, for so they say unless I see him uh, and see the wounds and put my hands uh, in the wounds. What is the proof? How do I know? How do I know? What is the evidence? What is the proof? For we are believers, but we are unbelievers. And that is why many believers did not even take the forbearance that the government offered. Because you could have use it for bearings and buy you another house. Or invest in some business. But because you have no faith. Because your faith tells you that if you take the forbearance, you're going to lose your house. And you're going to lose everything. So you're stuck at what if. You're stuck at what if. The bad the Bible said the Sadducees and the Pharisees look for a sign. They look for a sign. What is the sign? The sign is the proof. The sign is the proof. You have some folks who cannot move them until you are able to prove to them. You cannot move them until you are able to show them evidence and witness that it works, that is for real. They have no faith of their own. But one decision that I make that my faith will not be hung to any old prophet faith. My faith will not be hung to any young prophet faith. My faith will not be hung on anyone else. My faith is hung in Jesus. My faith is hung in God. I'm saying like the writer, my hope is built at nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I'm not depending on your faith to move. I'm moving by my own faith. I'm moving by my own confidence. I'm moving by my own trust in my God. I prophesy over my life that I will never die a pauper. I prophesy over my life that I will never die a struggling bishop. I prophesy over my life oh, that I will not leave my wife and my children in debt. I prophesy, I decree, and declare it because the Bible in Deuteronomy chapter 8 where the Pinnock said God is the one that giveth power to get wealth. God is the one that giveth power to get wealth. And Sister Anne Mary, God has given me the power and God has anointed me to get wealth. The Psalm 112 said, a wealth and riches shall be in our house. Oh, Oh, glory to God. What we do with the power is up to us, it's not up to God. We could stop at what if or we could use the power. I said we can stop it what if or we can use the power. I long past what if and I'm using the power. I'm using the power. When I make my exit, my wife and my children shall eat in plenty. They will eat in plenty. The ministry will not be left struggling and in debt of those who follow will eat in plenty for I'm believing God into a move I'm praying God into a move I'm worshiping God into a move I'm shouting God into a move I'm trusting God into a move I have no time for what if I have no time for guess and spelling all my time is to be is faith time all my time is trusting time all my time it's believing time. Do you know who get the SBA loan? Do you know who get the PPP loan? Do you know who get the forbearance? Do you know who? The people with the money. 
the people who are not believers. You know who miss out? The believers. You know who miss out? Church folks. You know who miss out? Folks who God said my people are called by my name. But they are filled with if. They are loaded with if. Miss out. So the promise. The promise. The promise was supposed to be for believers. But God said, I cannot release it in that order. I cannot release it in that order. Because if I release the promise in that order, then I would have gone against my principles and my will because then I would have to go back and apologize to Israel. I have to go back and repent to Israel because Israel, they were all believers. They were all my people. But the greater portion of them missed the promise. Just like how a greater portion of my people is missing the promise today because they stuck right where Israel stuck. They stuck at what if. They stuck at what if. Numbers chapter 13 tells us ah, that the 12 spies, 10 of the spies that came back from spying out the land, they stuck at what if, and they stuck the people at what if. And Sister Akim and they kept on saying, What if? What if? We saw the giants. We are like grasshoppers in their sight. We saw the, 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 the giants. We are no match. What if we go up there and they kill us? What if we go up there and destroy us? But Caleb and Joshua moved beyond what if and said, Even though, oh, I could hear somebody in this house today, pick up fresh courage and draw your sword and gird up the loins of your mind and put on your arm and said even though even though even though giants may be in the land even though giants may be in the land ah oh, we are going up we are going up we are going up we are going up oh that somebody 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 would open their mouth and said we are 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 going up we are going up and we are going up now we are going up to you the power. We are going up to get the wealth. We are going up to release. We are going up. We are going up even though we are going up. We are going up now. I am trying to see. I am trying to see if I can preach you past the curse. I'm trying to see if I can preach you beyond the curse. I'm trying to see if I can disconnect you from the curse because you are a believer, but you are stuck with the curse. Even though we are believers, but we are stuck with the curse because the curse remains with those who want to see. The curse remains with those who want the proof. The curse remains with those who want the testimony before they move. For some folks cannot move until they hear your testimony. They will never create a testimony for themselves. I said they will never give birth to a testimony for themselves. Because they can only survive off your testimony. They can only live off your testimony. You got to prove to them that it worked first. You got to prove to them that they are not going to lose anything first. Everything you got to prove, you got to prove, you got to But Jesus said the curse remained with those folks. But the word of God still stand and said, blessed are they that believe. Uh, blessed are they that believe. They had no testimony when they believe. They had no proof what they believe. They don't know how it's going to work out, but they believe. They don't know what the outcome is going to be, but but they believe blessed are those who believe and did not see they believe before they see because it is their faith that is going to cause them to see blessed are those whose faith will move their God into a move Moving God, moving God, 
tell somebody the theme for the day is moving God. Moving God. Moving God into a move. Moving God into a move. God is looking for a people who will move him into a move. It was the faith and the stands and the worship of the three Hebrew boys that moved God into a move. That move him out of heaven and move him down to earth and move him into the fiery furnace. I call upon believers. I call upon the church. I call upon nations to wake up and move God into a move. I take action. Get radical. Draw your sword. Open your mouth. Plead the blood. Pray. Attack and rebuke and fight and cripple and confound and defeat. Use the power that God has given unto you to slay giants and to possess and to occupy until he comes. Oh, by the anointing and by the power of the Holy Ghost, we will move God in this house into a move. We will move God in this house into a move upon the enemies and move in their camp and move upon their altar and move upon their evil and move upon their network and their operation and move upon their conferences. I said we will pray in this house and move God into a move. We will pray and move God. Hey! Well, we are waiting on God to move. Well, God is waiting. Well, God is waiting. I will continue this. Well, God is waiting. We are waiting on God to move. The Bible said, Jacob prayed at Bethel. Jacob wrestled at Bethel. Uh, Jacob received identity. Uh, God want to identify himself with us. Uh, I said God want to identify with us in a personal relationship. Uh, in an intimate way. God want to identify with us. God want to know our name in prayer. God want to know our name in worship. Uh, and God want us to know his name in faithfulness. Uh, God want us to know his name in blessing. Uh, God want us to know his name in deliverance. Uh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, Jacob was set to wrestle. And Jacob was set to pray. And Jacob was set to fight until he moved God and moved the hands of God. Uh, when Jacob got himself uh, into some serious prayer, some intense prayer, uh, uh, God asked him, man, 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 who are you? Who are you? Uh, the man caught the attention of God. Uh, I said, the man caught the attention of God. Uh, God came down and asked him, who are you? What is your name? Uh, We are talking about some serious prayer, some serious wrestling that brought the God down, that caught the attention of God, that God came down and asked him, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob. I'm a grandson of Abraham. I am Isaac. And Rebecca's son, my name is Jacob. If I can get the church to understand that God is interested in relationship. God is interested in relationship. If I can get folks to understand that church is not about the day. But church is about relationship. When God establishes church, he establishes church. And he has two things in mind. He has fellowship and relationship. He has fellowship and relationship. That's why I said we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is according to Hebrews 10. Our God has fellowship and relationship in mind when he established his church. When he created man, he had fellowship and relationship in mind. God is still looking for fellowship and relationship with man. He still has an interest. So Jacob, 
You see, God is looking for communication. Tell somebody God is looking for communication. How come? I, I got to close it now. I got to close it now. But how comes God asks you, what is your name? And you never ask him what his business is. How come you never talk back to God? How come? You don't just see that God is looking for a conversation. So God asked Jacob, because not the woman has cycles well. Jesus was looking for a conversation with her. Jesus engaged himself into, can't you understand that God is looking for a conversation with us? That God wants to conversate because God wants to tell us something, but he cannot tell us. God wants to show something. God wants to give us something, but he cannot show it. He cannot tell us. He cannot give us until he's able to engage us into a conversation. Can't you understand that it was a conversation that the serpent and Lucifer engaged Eve in, where he was able to get to her, to make can't you understand that God is looking for a conversation so he can get you out of your mess and get you past your mess and get you out of your past and get you past your past and get you back into your right frame of mind and get you back into the spirit can't you understand that God so Jacob asks God so what is your name so, you ask me my name. So, what is your, what is your, <laughs> what is your name, what is your name, <laughs> what is your name? And Jacob asked him and said, tell me, I pray thee, thy name. <laughs> and he said, wherefore is that thou ask after my name? <laughs> and he blessed him there, he blessed him there, he blessed him there. Uh, Reverend Haley, God wanted to bless uh, Jacob so badly. God wanted to release unto Jacob. Sister Simone, God wanted to give it to Jacob so badly. Uh, Mother Kalinda, God was just waiting for Jacob to identify with him and to ask him, what is your name, what is your name, what is your name? And as soon as Jacob asked God, what is your name, what is your name? The Bible said, and God bless him, and God bless him, and God bless him there, and God bless him there, and God bless him there. And God bless him there. A long time ago, we sing the good old song. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know. But some people, but some people, but some people don't know who Jesus is. But everybody ought to know. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Ah, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, uh, Sister Rose, stand, stand up right where you are. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. I hear the Holy Ghost. I hear the Holy Ghost said. I hear the Holy Ghost said. I should rebuke the assignment of reoccurrence. The assignment. Stretch your hands towards her. I hear the Holy Ghost said, no repeat, no reassignment, no repeat, no reoccurrence. No more hospitalization. No more, no more, no more, no more. We rebuke it, we curse it, we confound it, we cancel it. We defeat it and destroy it. No more, no more, no more. No more reoccurrence. We rebuke it by and through the anointing and by and through the power of the Holy Ghost and by and through the blood of Jesus I bless you there I bless you there as God bless Jacob there I bless you with total and complete healing I bless you with total and complete deliverance I bless you with total and complete victory in the name of Jesus no more somebody shout no more no more Sister Melrose, stand up where you are. Right here, the Holy Ghost said, no weapon. Rabakata, no weapon form against you, no tongue speaking against you, uh, no voice threatening, blood, sword, and fire uh, be upon all assignment of principalities and powers. We evict and blood up and cast out every demons and devils that surround you. We rebuke them away, we blood them away, we open wild fire upon them in the name of Jesus. Oh my. Mighty God, I wrap you. I second the I shelter you. And I defend, I build up the edges of protection. Brother Pinnock, Brother Pinnock, stand up where you are. Stand up where you are. Release upon you. I release upon you today. I release upon you the David 
anointing, the David oil, the David anointing, the David oil, that your ministry will catapult, that your ministry will flourish, that your ministry will prosper, that God will connect your ministry to favor, a favor with man, a favor in the earth and favor in the heavens. I prophesy it and I release it and I decree and declare it over your life that God will open doors and create opportunities and release unto you an abundance by the anointing and by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood of Jesus. I clear every blockage. I end every cycle. I rebuke every witchcraft. I rebuke every witch. I rebuke every goddess, every wizard and warlock. I blood up every evil intelligence. I can't found and destroy every arrow that has been directed towards you and your family by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood of Jesus. Ah! Sister Eloise, Sister Eloise, I release, I release before you an open door. I release before you an open door. For I hear God said, I prepare before you a table, a table in the presence of your enemies. But the, uh, there's a door that has, uh, that has been shut that is blocking the table. <laughs> but today in the realms of the spirit, I prophesy <laughs> and I open the door. I open the door before you and I release you to the table <laughs> that God has provided. <laughs> that you will eat in plenty and be satisfied. <laughs> and God will release your marital glory. <laughs> and God will bless your future. <laughs> and God will give you victory over the dark elements <laughs> of principalities and powers. And I decree and declare that no weapon uh, form against you shall prosper. Uh, I open up and I release blood, sword, and fire. I release the oil of favor. Rabba Katalabu Shabba Echo Labu in the name of Jesus. Cancel and short circuit every plot and every plan. I roast every demons and devil in the fire of God. Release your holy angels, God, today to bear her up and to take charge and control. To give victory. Mother Simpson and Brother Simpson, I speak over your life. I speak over your health. I speak against the devil. I speak against principalities and powers. I speak against every sickness, every assignment of sickness uh, and disease that had been released to plague you both. Uh, I release good health for old age. I release a long life for old age. I trouble every assignment. I trouble every plot. I blood on every assignment. I blood on every assignment of principalities and powers. I recreate and regenerate your body I transform and restore into perfect health that God will visit and God will minister and God will touch today and grant total and complete victory in the name of Jesus Father I pray this very moment I pray in this pulpit. I pray in the heavens and I pray in the earth. I pray unto my Father. I know your name. I know your name. Your name is Elohim. I know your name. Your name is Jehovah Rapha. I know your name. Your name is I am that I am. I pray to my Father now and I ask of you God that you will... Minister to your servant, Minister Odin, right now. Father, I pray that you will touch him in his body. 
God, I ask of thee, I ask of thee, that special, uh, as we pray to thee, God, that we, we will move you into favor. We'll move you into miracles. We'll move you into healing. We'll move you into deliverance and victory, oh God, over all principalities and powers, over assignment and devices, a wicked and evil works, oh God. We left the prayers today and pray God hey, now that you will flow through his body divine healing oh mighty God mighty God touch his wife the baby cover them surround them watch over them shelter them defend and give them victory over the dark and evil elements of principalities and powers. Rulers of darkness, we push back. We push back on the army. We push back on their network. We push back on their operation. We push back on their kingdom. We blood back. We rebuke back. We curse back. We defeat back. We return the assignment. And their families. Pray over your people in this house today. I pray for total and complete healing. Father, we pray the prayer that move you into action. I pray the prayer today, God, that move you into healing and deliverance, into prosperity, into goodness and mercy, into grace and favor. I pray the prayer today that will move your people beyond what if, and will move them into nevertheless. I rebuke the dark elements of evil. I rebuke the dark elements of principalities and powers. I rebuke the dark elements of rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places, bonds of wickedness and gates of hell. We open wildfire in the elements and the firmament, almighty God. In land and sea, sky and earth, we open fire and confound wicked and evil force, wicked and evil powers, oh God, I cover your people. Deliver them from every accident and incident and coincidence. Black magic and witchcraft and timely death and premature death and generational curse. An ancestor spirit, I lift up breath and open fire upon every day God, every taskmaster, every slave master up in the house. A bondage, I lift up breath and open fire and blood up and kalabusha and release and lose and set your people free. Oh, mighty God, mighty. Wrap your people today. Many at home, wounded and afflicted. Many are in the hospital, struck by the virus. Many at home, knocked down by the virus. Knocked down by other conditions, adversities, trials and tribulations. <laughs> oh, dark and heavy clouds, heavy burdens. <laughs> oh, financial struggles and hardship. <laughs> Wherever your people may be today, God, devastation upon the land. Oh, God, but I pray the prayer of your prophet Habakkuk today and ask of thee, oh, God, that in wrath you will remember mercy. Oh, mighty God, you will heal and restore. You will forgive and deliver. Oh, God, you will turn it for your people. Bless every oil, bless every water. Mighty God, every headache, every stomach ache, every backache, every toothache, every heartache, every pain, every sorrow, every grief, we lift up prayers and move your hands of healing and deliverance. Oh, that you will open locked doors, oh mighty God, we pray and move you today into action, oh mighty God, we make the move that move you, God, into release. Releasing our prosperities, our promises, and inheritance. 
by the anointing and by the power, I release fresh oil upon your people. I release fresh oil upon your people, God. I worship you for the tithes. I worship you for the offering. As many will give double today, God. I pray that you will not fail to return double. Oh God, you will not fail to record their story. You will not fail to bless them and bless them in abundance. Oh mighty God, as we leave from here today, we ask that you will go with us. And you will deliver us from the dark elements of coronavirus and other viruses and other sickness and disease God, from hurricane and earthquake and from disasters and calamities. Oh God, you will preserve us and deliver us from accidents and dangers. Oh mighty God, we pray that you are sheltering us. We'll continue to shelter, keep and protect us. Santi Kalabushaba Rabba, mighty God, we worship your great and holy name. Feed us with bread of heaven. Fill us up with water of life and take all the glory. Honor the praises and the thanks for we pray and we ask it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, glory to God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in preparation for closing. We'll have the announcements and we'll have the collections of our tithes and our offering. There's a gospel concert here tonight. Amen. And if you can give your support, we are asking you to do so. Amen. On the 12th of September, Bishop Eastern Goburn, you know him well, will be having a concert also right here in this building. And uh, Sister Karen have tickets for that concert, so we are asking that you will purchase some tickets and be a blessing to the man of God in these difficult and challenging times, amen, when hardship is everywhere. Let's see how we can be a blessing to the man of God, amen, amen. There will be a funeral service here in the morning also, amen, a good friend of us. Rudy Daly, you remember he came here, he came here and last year and he was stricken down with cancer of the pantry and of the liver and all over and was slated to die in moments and we prayed and we prayed and we prayed and God miraculously touched him. God miraculously touched him and almost two years later he's still alive, he's still alive and doing a whole lot better and we just give God thanks for miracles. Well, it's not him who has passed, but his mother-in-law. His mother-in-law has passed and the funeral will be tomorrow morning. I will be officiating in the funeral and if you are free and you can come by, feel free to come and give support and tomorrow morning the service starts at 11. 